Quantum computing is no longer a distant sci-fi fantasy. Experts predict that by 2027, quantum computing will be deeply integrated into artificial intelligence, bringing in a new golden era of technological advancement. It's bound to reshape the world around us. By the end of this video, you'll discover everything you need to know about the current state of quantum computing. Quantum computing will transform AI by 2027. In 2021, scientists at the University of Chicago achieved a breakthrough in quantum computing. They successfully sent entangled qubit states through a special cable, connecting one quantum network point to another for the first time. Researchers are making advancements on various fronts in quantum computing. Big companies like IBM, Google, and Microsoft are putting a lot of money into quantum research, and a lot of startups are focused on creating both quantum hardware and software. Countries are putting a lot of money into quantum research. China is investing $15 billion, the European Union $7.2 billion, the US $1.3 billion, the UK $1.2 billion, and India and Japan $1 billion each. Businesses are getting more involved in quantum computing. In 2021, investments in startups reached over $1.7 billion, which is more than double the amount raised in 2020 as reported by McKinsey. The growth of software-only startups is outpacing other segments in the quantum computing market. Capgemini carried out a survey on business executives about quantum computing, and it turns out some are already into it. Some companies are optimistic that we'll be using quantum computing in some big applications within three years. Those diving into quantum are preparing in various ways. 51% are building teams, 49% are experimenting with ideas, 48% are testing on quantum hardware or simulators, and 46% are busy crafting brand new applications. They're on the move and getting ready for some quantum action. The competition for quantum supremacy has been a big deal lately. But it's not just about fancy technology. Quantum computing could change the game for artificial intelligence in the next few years. It's a big deal with even bigger possibilities. A new breakthrough in quantum computing There has been a recent breakthrough in quantum computing. Atom Computing just revealed a 1,225-qubit quantum computer, nearly tripling IBM's Osprey, the previous leader. This shows that we're about to step into a new era in computing. In 2024, there is a strong belief that the quantum computer market is going to change its focus. So far, everyone has been obsessed with the idea of quantum advantage and just counting how many qubits a computer has. But things are about to shift. The big players in quantum are now shifting focus to improving the quality of qubits rather than just piling up more, a change from the previous quantity over quality approach. The industry is turning its attention to more crucial problems, fixing errors and figuring out how to use quantum computers for real-world problem solving, making sure it runs smoothly. The shift from just caring about the number of qubits to fixing errors and making practical applications work is a sign that the field is growing. Even though it brings some uncertainty along, this change is an important turning point for quantum computing. The industry is leveling up and reaching a more mature stage. However, the industry is also facing the issue of turning all those fancy theoretical ideas in quantum computing into actual real-world uses. There's another concern about what quantum computing might mean for data security. There's this worry about how clever hackers could use this new technology to store encrypted data, now and then decrypt it in the future. Quantum technology is moving fast, and we can't afford to overlook the importance of having encryption that can stand up to it. The potential danger of a quantum computer breaking our current encryption standards, like RSA or ECC algorithms, is a real concern. Organizations of all sizes and across various industries need to check where they might be vulnerable and start shifting to encryption methods that can withstand the power of quantum tech. It's not a choice anymore, it's a must to do to stay secure. Companies and institutions are facing a real threat. Hackers and potentially unfriendly nations might be attempting to steal, hoard, and store encrypted data, 
hoping to decrypt it in the future. The good news is that next year, NIST is expected to announce round 4 of post-quantum algorithms, highly secure codes. These codes will be added to important tech libraries like Libsodium, making them accessible to all developers. While some pioneers like Cloudflare and Signal have started using these secure codes in practical ways, getting everyone to adopt them will take time. It's a long-term plan, not an immediate switch. Even though the White House is encouraging this shift, a significant event similar to the Y2K situation might be necessary to truly motivate the widespread adoption of these super-secure measures. There will be a high demand for skilled cybersecurity experts to help organizations stay ahead of these new cyber challenges. Misconceptions around quantum computing There's a lot of confusion about quantum computing. Some people think it's something we'll have in the far-off future, like 10 or 15 years from now. But that's not true. We already have quantum computers today, and they can do things that regular computers can't. Another misunderstanding is that quantum computers are only good for one specific task. That's not the case. They can handle various things beyond what classical computers can manage. Even though quantum computing was mostly aimed at helping businesses, it turned out to be perfect for solving tough scientific problems. Think about complex physics challenges, like the one CERN and the Large Hadron Collider deal with. Quantum computing is now letting us tackle these problems in ways we didn't think were possible before. Throughout history, when brilliant minds get their hands on amazing tools, they always find something remarkable to do. We're witnessing this happening right now. Quantum computing isn't just a distant idea, it's become a game-changing tool that turns theoretical concepts into real possibilities. We're having a new pair of glasses to see and understand the universe in a whole different way. The exciting part is breaking the myth that says quantum computing is years away and can only solve one specific thing. It's proving to be way more versatile and closer than we thought. Sectors Quantum Computing Will Impact Quantum computing is making a big impact in various areas. In finance, large banks and trading firms are using it to make portfolios better and detect fraud more effectively. In the pharmaceutical world, quantum computing is helping discover new drugs more efficiently. Companies that care about being eco-friendly are also getting into quantum tech. For example, they're teaming up with big names like BMW and Airbus to explore how quantum computing can help in creating advanced materials, like in the development of hydrogen fuel cells. It could transform industries like healthcare and aviation. It promises to bring more clarity to how AI makes decisions, tackling the issue of not understanding the black box of AI choices. This is important in areas where rules and regulations matter, ensuring that we can trust and understand the decisions made by advanced technologies. The benefit of quantum computing is huge. Predictions about quantum computing According to Yuval Boger, the chief marketing officer at QERA Computing, some big changes are coming in the quantum computing world in 2024. One major shift he predicts is moving from dealing with physical qubits to working with error-corrected logical qubits. This transition is a big leap forward, aiming for more stability and reliability in quantum computations. It's an upgrade from the basics to a more advanced and dependable level in the world of quantum computing. Boger thinks that around the same time, we'll see quantum processors getting more involved in high-performance computing centers. This means a mix of both regular and quantum machines working together, creating a powerful combo. At the same time, European countries are expected to team up with US vendors for their national quantum programs. They're realizing that to stay at the forefront of quantum progress, it's better to work together globally. Countries will join forces for the quantum journey. The idea is shown by understanding that what's considered the best French quantum technology might not be the same as the best quantum technology for France. The same concept applies to other countries like Germany, the UK, Finland, and so on. This is why the year 2024 is expected to be exciting for the future of quantum computing. Different places may need different solutions, making the quantum landscape quite diverse. 
The Future of Quantum Computing Quantum computing isn't just a far-off idea, it's happening right now, and some big moments are coming soon. One important moment is when quantum machines regularly do better than the best supercomputers at certain tasks. This will show that regular computers can't keep up with what quantum ones can do. For getting ready, Tony Utley, who's the president and chief operating officer of Quantinium, suggests that business and government leaders should pay attention to how quantum tech can be used in different areas, like keeping things secure online or in high-energy physics. It's about seeing the practical applications of quantum technology and getting ready for what's coming. We will see quantum computing showing up in places that impact our daily routines. You might not directly use a quantum computer, but it could be working behind the scenes in applications on your phone. Just like the early days of the internet and regular computers, quantum computing will start with specific uses, but is heading toward becoming a common part of our lives, quietly handling tasks on our everyday devices. Looking ahead to 2024, quantum computing could bring about some major changes that affect everyone. Picture faster discoveries of new medicines or super secure passwords. That's the positive side. But there's also a downside. Current online security might not be as safe, and the technology itself is still a bit tricky, often expensive, and not very user-friendly. It's a mix of exciting possibilities and some challenges to figure out. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.